Now you can practice at your own dojo, yeah? Uh, now we're going to start with Swai Waza, the Ote Mochi Koki Ho Ni. Yeah? Offer your hands and my partner pushes. I've already lost it. So look at my body. That's no good. Yes. So as my partner grabs, my weight should be forward. From here, I rotate. One, about two, cut, three. There's three elements. So, first, to blend with your partner. And to blend with my partner, I need to make sure that the, this part of my hand and this part of the UK's hand stay together. I've lost him. That's what I want. This way. So, first move, my partner pushes. One. Next, I take his balance. Third, I push up. So, these are the three elements of any technique in Aikido. Blend with your partner, break your partner's balance, project your power. And then as you progress, they all coexist right through the technique together. But to learn it, you break it down like that. So, here, one. Now move B, two. Take your partner's balance. Stay strong. Yeah. <laughs> Stay strong, good. Okay, so he's strong now, right? I don't use my hands, I use my body. Now I cut with my hands this way. And, and my hands and legs lined up. So I blend with my partner, break my partner's balance, and I project my power. But in all that, I have to keep my center. So if you think of your center very simple as your elbows and your knees being aligned, so you go here, that's no good. You need to keep that alignment. As you cut down, it doesn't change, it's straight this way. Right, so for all the Q grades, it should be one, two, three. Alright? And should I need us the same? Uh, everyone is standard, beyond that. You want to go one, go on an angle this way. Two. Yeah? On an angle, yeah. Okay, if you're go down and above, then you can experiment. This way. Time, so. But as you do it, your body must stay solid. If your body is weak, then you have to use strength in your hands. So if this is solid, up and cut. So, do it according to your level, please. Uh, and if you've got knee, ankle problems or eyelash problems,